Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and evening and amazing, spectacular, wondrous propaganda cast on by you. In the West, it is here. Have fighting for the Oberkommandos to Germany, Deutschland, taking on the role here of the... Oh, let's just go with 9th Panzer shown here with Elite Armored Overwatch and Firestorm. Double infantry medical supplies with these that is learned to play fighting for the Commonwealth of the British Army. The 7th Armored Division here with Royal Artillery Mobile Assault and then Lease with double infantry and land matches. And Matt wondering, wait, Dane, this isn't Bayer. Bayer doesn't look like this, to which I say, behold, if we switch the angle of the map sufficiently, it's Bayer. It's just. Besides overhauling the map and for some flattening out this part, which is usually one of the major issues of the map, and just fixing up some stuff there, uh, the map maker also basically just shifted the entire normal angle. So instead of this one, which we're used to, you know, roughly like this, it's now been shifted towards this. So, little fun side note there. Fun side note. As, you know, as always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters. You know, comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that. And you can also comment, or you donate, or pledge on Patreon. Links in the description. Any help there can, of course, help me out a ton. We got Double Fox there for you know how, with Elite Armored, Overwatch, and Flash. Wait, I don't want to mention that, never mind. But Double Fox, because there's triple sections. You learn to play heading northwards here, heading for the field point there. Center section moving towards back north south, with a more heavy southern focus here by Irohas. Sturm Pioneer of Fox leading the way there through the southern fields. Fox is moving up here. We've got section already digging in close to Irohas' base, looking to also, I think, just. Uh, Ward off any potential push with the fuel point to drop that right away. Thumbs up there to learn to play. Don't know sort of doctrine yet. One thing to note, of course, there's a heavy emphasis on commando troops and land matches could perhaps signal or at least tip the hand towards mobile assault here for learn to play. As for Ira, uh, less clarity there. The Overwatch is generally the like 99.9% .9 choice of Oba Commander's players. Remember, they are against the Brits because Jaegers just work incredibly well against the infantry sections. Truck away the feeder, so that's some relatively fast tech here for the Germans. Section tank here pulls it from the north. Catching a bit off guard. You know, that's because they're almost done it for learn to play to put more pressure here on the other There you go. Ludwig drops dead. Shot a bit there by the sections. Sandbags are almost done there. And there we go. Universal carrier out there for learn to play in the British Army. Fun fact, the Soviets also made use of the Universal Carriers to receive some by the British. I believe they actually quite like them. Fun fact. Of course, Chan Morty against the section there. Oh, when we up close, but the same for the same section down here, they might have a hard time long term. There goes so also Fox will be focused down. But there goes Sturm has run from the south here, catching the section here suddenly in a bit of reversal, forcing them to make retreat here. We got a truck moving up here for Iroha. Could this be a Fort Belgium headquarters and we get elite armoured? Now that's a surprise choice. Since again, versus the Brits, it's just like overwhelmingly players will go for Jaeger armor. Like Jaeger armor oh watch. Jaeger armor, that's more like two versus two terrain. I mean, that's like, you know, I would personally say I do not think Jaeger armor is ever a good idea. Four section there for learn to play. The kid on the way here for Iroha. Would expect the fast two to one to at least put pressure on the uh, universe camp with some other stuff there, but oh well. I'll wait, Elite Armor is very much a surprise choice here by Yura. Again, not what I'd expect in a, well, most circumstances. Grand Northern Munitions. Let's go do what can there. No tech yet, though, for Learn to Play. Meaning they can't upgrade the Vickers K right away. Definitely needs to take up fast here, though. Certainly Heavy T1 here for Learn to Play. Troops reinforcing healing. Okay, now for, there for Yura. Big entry push here, and the full support will have to retreat. All right, early grenade research here from Learn to Play. Definitely looking a thing to catch you know how I've got with that one. That's not to say it's uncommon for the British to go for grenades. That's not super common either, but typically they're more likely to push for other things before pushing for grenades. I would say some of the time, but oh well. Might be able to uh, deal some rather punishing blows if you know with a good middle bomb there chucked at them. We'll of see when and how they do so. Take down there, can upgrade the Yapa Goat, Vickers K on the Universal Carrier. Take them up, they can flank here. Might also start them to chuck the Mills Bomb here. Folks, which has been shot to bits, so I'm going to make the one seized. Can we move up there? Go shoots and misses the Universal Carrier. Oh, bad luck there for her. Had that hit, they probably would have taken up the Universal Carrier, to be honest. It would have taken quite a bit of damage, so that was some. Bit of rubbish like there for Iroha. 
Truck still standing about there. No, okay, going to the battle of headquarters. Still no sound of the 2 to 1. At this point, I would say it's likely they're not going to happen since most players will go for it fast, though. There's always a surprise chance to make go for a later once you just secure the fuel pot with it and speed up their fuel income by a significant bit. Going down here, healing, sandbagging. Enemy the base also fixed up, point. and we got the Yamakab being prepared here for learn to play. You know, they certainly will not have a Puma ready to deal with that. Will they go for the Kedden F? What will they go for is basically a big question. Here we got 470 versus 497. So far, learn to play has a nice lead here by Iroha. Universe goes setting out there for the British Army. Six kills already. Fox finding the intersection here. And there we go. We do get the Mills bombs here from learn to play quickly dodge here for Iroha. And of course, now he will likely be a bit on watch. And then, of course, there's a little bit chance just catching Iroha off guard with a grenade and getting a wipe at least. Some heavy damage in. Battle headquarters ready for Iroha and the German Army. Medics, obviously. Might see the flag half track, but may also not. Land for Gundam could be a very good choice, though. Ready for deployment. Here, finding the southern point. I think, in part, though, recent era is fighting here over this point, so much is also, of course, if Iroha lose the munitions point, it becomes much easier for Land to play just push for the fuel point head on. Makes it more like to push for. Oh! Okay, we do get the 2 to 1. That's a surprise. Now, almost got a lot of folks with the grenade there as well. Definitely a bit rough here without an MD-34 flak half track for Iroha. They lack any way of stopping just these, you know, well, blobs, effectively. From learn to play, just push through with the grenades in particular. That's some extra puncture to the blobs. It makes it hard just like, you know, shall I say, counter blob. Which is typically the overall commander's like, response. Like, they have to just, like, amass infantry. And then the opponent completed. has grenades like that. They can suddenly get punished. So, definitely a nice little tactic there. Sappers on the way there for... Learn to play to repair stuff. Very good. Fuel point cut off. Definitely not great for you to have. We got the 2 to 1. Got another supplies being dropped. Interesting. What's going up here? You see blasting with sandbags. Shatter the came then moving forward here from the south. Sex moving about as well here. Moving in the 2 to 1 here. Ready to roll. Aggressively pressing the Learn to play's infantry. And we're going for the section of machine gun flying away there, the MD-34. Section members taking some damage, some losses. Got one kill in the 2 2 one You see the course isn't always present threat and the kid not routed. There's no real way to protect it unless they go for Panzer section on the Sturm Pioneers, which seems unlikely. We seem moving forward here for the British Empire. Blast where the folks are holding up in heavy cover. It has basically got no real map control currently versus learn to play, which is Great for Iroha, or for learn to play, but definitely a pain in the play for Iroha. Ground the sun on fuel pump here. 2 to 1 back at base, being upgraded to the 2 2 3. Let's see what they do with that one. Trench by the south. Then victory point there. And of course, I'll never learn to play, but still no sign of a dark from learn to play. That set most of the docks and something we do much in the early game except for mobile assault with the flame pros, I guess. Oh well, then these. Mortars assault section could have been used for the obviously. Sandbox here by the well. What's next then? Seeming forwards. Folks are trying to fire the cannon coming up. Two, two, three, they're good to go. Setting up here. I don't have the action tinker at something the fuel point the point next to it. Both the options there. But they've got it set up there, so thumbs up to you. how that could long term, if they keep it alive, actually offset some of the initial issues there with resources for Iroha. Of course, if they were to set up the fuel point, they'd get a lot more fuel, which I think would definitely do a lot there as well. Find an MD34 here for Iroha. You know, that's going fixed up. AC, they're waiting repairs. Section moving westwards. Could be some offers, I guess. Or something else. Okay, we do get mobile assault featuring flamethrowers. Advanced cover combat. Commandos, obviously. Land mattresses and the vehicle repairs. We do get a commander squad out there. Good hit from the Kenway for down the AC map. Fleet punching a large hole there. Folks pushing force the assault officer them yet. To do three. Looks like it's going to set up just on the other point here, I think. Has packed up already. So I'm guessing the plan was to set up in the fuel point there. Not a bad idea there by Uraha. Not a bad idea at all. We've got section of the Fulton being heavily focused there by the Salt Rifle and Tana TKs. Section out in the open, up being the car bonus. 
don't we don't we need to get into cover sir no no need for that just British stiff upper lip but our bonus is fully activated without it oh rats okay we got commands we got them equipped with Bren guns cheeky we've been forcing getting assault officers at it Okay, moving the two to three ahead, but not on the fuel points. Still, just a f more fortune point. I'm guessing they want to use it as a support weapon as well. I'm guessing that's sort of the uh, logic behind this. Oh, as I really don't get uh, either has idea there. Because, oh, as he's just exposing it further. So they must be planning using like to help you know, again slightly in a sense defend the fuel point why not just set up the fuel points so again I'm guessing they want to like defense you know, the front line to act as support for the Kenny of Nimby for the four maybe Commander's caught they go use it as a spotter Got folks in the section here Grenade off there, folks taking some amount of damage, nothing significant. AC looking at the now, at 2 to 3, quickly repositioned already. Sandbag shattered. Big quick being paired, need to get the end of the that goal, and there you go. Commanders remains pressed. 2 to 3 charges in now, I think, partly to try and push them over there, you go, getting hit by the AC map feet, he's gonna have to pull back. Came down, forced to treat like him, milling about at the wrong and worst timing to get the 2 to 3 to safety. Veterans one game, one kill for being shot to bits out in the open up north here, to push for the northern resource there. I think that's a good move for Iraha. As for learn to play, checking up this good. Back to the other points set up there, still ignoring the fuel point. Still a bit confusing to me. Learn to play because they're taking up. We've got trot on the way to field. That's going to be likely to be Shvera Panzer quarters. Two to three, they're being repaired. Back to the extra fuel munitions there. Though again, he could just also park the fuel point and get a bunch more fuel. Grab the northern munitions. We got 300, that's 497. Learn to play so far, yet to lose the many big two points score. We got the first of the sappers up here. That's going to be easy for the folks going to be is. Sappers do not send a chance there. Two to three, good to go. Got the second truck out there for Iraha. Seven's launching on the southern fuel point. You're gonna have to move the two to three to deal with that, I think. Once at the Storm Pioneer there. Storm Pioneer charging. And there you go, Milk Bum off. Grenade popped. Storm Pioneers lose Heinrich. Which is a bit too slow. Big push here again with a horde of infantry. Infantry forming into support. The folks are being routed as learn to play, of course, is quick to threaten annihilation there if. Your height is too slow, and you've been setting up. Two big could also support. Should we have Panther Quarter going up? Gonna shoot, and did it actually shoot one of his own there? Almost looked like it though. Kind of shoots, misses again. Should we have Panther Quarter almost done? We got 284, but it's 497. We also got tech there for learn to play. Thumbs up, very good. North here, Pont being seized by the commanders. Shreya Panzer Quarter is almost done. And adding Panzer Authorization. Lots of sandbags really digging around the center here. Definitely looking to make it tough here for you to make any push. Nice if they came from the Nazca getting into the, in the process, but folks I'm going to pull back, simply too much resistance. I feel like they should be focusing more on the rest of the map around the center if you feel like that's a mistake by Iroha. Not like the center is where all the resources are. That's the rest of the map. So definitely feel like something that Iroha needs to get around here, or they might just face annihilation at the hands of learn to play at this rate. Two to three back here again, not sure why they are so hesitant. I mean obviously it could be they just also want some munitions, which is fair, but I honestly feel like they should be going for the fuel point. Oh wait. Up and authorized, can actually soon go for the Panzer IV. Six Panzer on the way there for Learn to play up to expecting armor. Mean, you know, it's not far away from Panzer IV, which is good. Grab the point there with the commanders. Quickly popping into the trench here. Anti tank gun, ready to do some damage. Six Panzer out. 
Close to close to 40. We've got a sandbag position again here. Lots of sandbags from learn to play. Got, got some, some nice by the late down to happen. Kevin takes another hit there and actually gets on the AC. Grenades off here. Sexton being slowly shot to bits here by Iraha's infantry. North side is pretty much all British and Iraha definitely like start extending some sort of presence into that. Can go for the Pentaphone there. Go Pentaphone's on the way. Could follow up some Orbital Garden here to put more pressure on learn to play in his infantry. University player there. East level 16 kills. Really impressive stuff there. And Sexton routed. Well, obviously less impressive stuff there for learn to play. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. More than halfway to East, that's only three on the Kedneth, almost got the Invescare as well. Troops are pressed by the Mu-34, ground the Southern Munitions. Grenades being changed here, probably being almost wiped out here. We've got 207 to 497. There's a headwind lead here for Learn to Play Radar. Up here, Commander's routed, caught by the Shri Alphandic Quarters, and as opposed to the 223 as well. The Commanders are forced to haul their asses back to Headquarters. Action here, a lot of skirmishing again, not in the north, which is barely seen any action. Hammer tactics for learn to play, gonna push straight for the comets, so we'll suffer the wrath of the Panda 4. The dual course have one entertainment AC to help stall against the Panda 4, which is definitely possible. Got the Panzer Commander being added to the Panda 4 model gate, very good, thumbs up. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. the munitions for the foot's gonna do is. The enemy is in trouble. Our hammer tactics are ready. There we go. Enemy down to 200 hammer points. tactics ready for learn to play. And we're running through the south. They're gonna encounter that section and give it a good flashing. And there goes shot fired. Flashing failed to materialize. Oh, there we go. Second shot also whiffed off spectacularly. War speed they enabled on the University of Carolina to get very fast up north. We got the AC there also. Oh, not quite there. Yeah, unlocked. We got fucking hammer there by the AC. Depends if all they not really doing a ton. Yeah, at least that's it. You can actually make for an aggressive push then to clear up the tank and to turn possible some artillery if it supports it properly. But now next to the ship, Hunter Court is still on the fuel point. Okay, we're getting some damage in Commander's round. It's still not a single kill for the Panther 4. Still not a single kill. Bouncing with the Sun Munitions with some Orbis Lad in tow. They're very good for Iroha. Thumbs up there. Learn to play getting ever close to the Comet tank. And the close that. Picking up the Panther 4. Orbis Lad from the front line. The tank's moving up. Good hitting the Mercer Carry. And once more, the Mercer Carry just zips away. We got 180 versus 497. The bleed continues in. Iroha's does not seem to be doing a lot to actually try and rectify that. Great for them to play, but could become a significant problem here for Iroha. Pentacles once more good to go. Nice shot, final end to kill. They got some good damage in there on learn to play infantry as well. Starting to get perhaps close a bit there. Two eight pan oh, that was a great hit though. That's forced men dead with a single shot. Two sections got it. Very good. Unless you're the British play. We got a line to go on the way there for Idaho. The light can't take the shots. Back at the forcing healing. Ever close to the comet, but still not quite there yet for learn to play. And we'll take the coin and artillery. Close to the base entrance, not going to take out the engineer tanks tank in there. And in May, I kept launch through the artillery to get out of it. Yup, caught in it and destroyed. Beautiful there. Learn to play punish there for not controlling the possibility of an artillery strike here from Iraha's Panther 4. But that entertainer actually getting stuck in a position where he can't escape it. So, thumbs up there to Iraha, thumbs up. Yes, I'm going to add some nasty pressure here to learn to play now then only really has the AC and maybe some Piet to try and stop the Panzer IV. But depending on how well Enemy it gets that Panzer IV swinging, it could get fairly awkward here for learn to play. Starting to get more aggressive else, we got 155 versus 497. We really do something about this victory two points. And faster than he's currently doing that for sure. He can actually soon go for another Panzer IV as well. 
don't think he sets up the 223 on the field point, but again, that is just me. And William Norfolk. Section caught routed. So now we've got 35 versus 20 fuel. Comment on the way there for learn to play. Just in course, hitting inside either or learn to play space. Either have meanwhile, again, could be playing another Panzer 4. Could also be having a Yak Panzer in mind there. Could also have a Yak Panzer in mind. Supplies looking a bit squiffy. Line's been cut. We do get the Yak Panzer for here, probably suspecting a uh, Comet on the way from his opponent. He could also go stall for the Panther, but the Yak Panzer is faster out, cheaper, and also possesses a higher rate of fire, also having better range, so it certainly might net some percent, percent, uh, percent a better choice against the Comet in terms of cost efficiency. Panther will land another great hit there. There's a Comet tank ready to go. And certainly benefits from the, the heat shells better than the panther as well. Heat shells from the panther, great hit, dimensions one gain. Got a combat blitz, they're gonna try and finish with Ego, something to block, but they could also get taken out here. If the panther could hit, of course. So there you go, Yak Panzer 4 dash 70 out. Common to move there, for learn to play shot fight. Didn't quite hear anything except the sandbags, and their own sandbags are that. Good lord, that British royal property! Stop shooting at the sandbags! We could get court martialed! We're losing a capture point. Grenade's been chat at the the Garden. Four percent point back into the firing down there. Pencil firing way there. We got ten kills. We got assault. So Advanced cover combat. Really going far. We got bang grenade off. Pushing a bit back to the Orbs Garden. We'll have to disengage. Jack Panther up the good hit on the combat. Could take it out there. And. Even heat shells here can't quite land the hit the universe code. The cook goes down. He hits up sending some luck there with him. There we go. Finally got the universe code there. British corpses all over the place. And you finally see learn to play there has been forced off the field, conceding it to Iraha and the German army. A brutal engagement, which I think one that uh, Iraha fairly got ahead on. New land mattress. Land mattress out there for learn to play. Sapper's fixing up the comet. Looking for the commanders, and there you go, spot on the right of them. Yak Panzer holding back, equipped with a high velocity send from the gun, similar to the Panther. The only major difference for us, they didn't have a muscle break there on the Yak Panzer because the whole thing was actually too slow on the ground if it had one. It would actually kept, kick up a ton of dust, which would easily give away the Yak Panzer's position, but also blind the crew in the process. So, usually they would remove that one there. Off got folks with the sections. Fixing up the comet. Setting up here around the center. We got 153 for 99. Panzer 4 being fixed up here, close to 22. Could go for another Panzer for after this. I suppose the really concerned about armor could go for another Yak Panzer. I think two Yak Panzers here would be a bit much. Another truck there for Udahap. That'll be the Mechanized Regiment. Could be Red Sender for the King Tiger, though I don't think that's going to be something that could be even relevant since it's almost a full popcat, anyways. Panther was the section the ground. There we go, land matches unleashing hell here. Bombarding the machine gun position in the center, plus the officers will get defense over the rockets, screaming away there, exploding, causing harm and damage and squirrel casualties. Got a land gun flying away there. Good hit from the Act Panther of the Comet. Sam is getting glass out in the open. And for the fun heat shells, Yak Panther as well. Sappers will make it a bit hard to push it, but there you go with the sap retreating. The Yak Panzer could maybe try to soon finish or do some more damage to the Comet. Commander's hiding here in the tree line. Comet shoots, Yak Panzer turns around to deal with that. Nice hit there. Punches straight through the Comet's frontal armor. Send the section under fire here. And far up north, we've got to be moving there as well. Buy and learn to play. 
commander's advance. Fuck the routed. Pen for the lens a quick hit in return. Plot bomb secured. Crap coming around here for Iraha. Pen for the routing the British infantrymen, comment being fixed up Enemy again, man matches point. there, gets going, scoring the kills. Struck with a few that's all to make things harder here to learn to play, can't easily fought with more armor. Definitely a bit of a tighter position there versus Zero Hat. We can soon again go for another Panther 4 if they want to. Put the the commanders. Panther with 20 kills, eventually two shot, missed. Jumping here, they're laying down mines to cover up against any potential incursions. There, not bad. North side the remains. Not very interesting here for Irohai. It seems like it just doesn't really bother much there. You got 146 to 344. Grenade there through the hedges. Very good. Thumbs up there to learn to play. Second Canada for Irohai. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Section trying to make a run for the victory point. They quickly hold the enemy for the front. Of course, they could also join in here. Got comment there. There's the Yak Panzer, Yak Panzer playing great. Got a boot trap here from Iroha. Very good. Machine gun, mines gun, getting hammered there by British rocket artillery. Yak Panzer very close to Veteran 2 1. In the south here, a little bit as set up for the salt here. And there you go. Run straight into the Panda 4. And with that anti tank support, they are very much easy prey there for the Panda 4. And there you go, armor car trap is getting hit by Yak Panther there, which gave him swapping heat subs opening up. There I came from Yak AC down, Panther for the joining in. But that said, Yak heat subs as well. Comet taking take intense damage to the Panther on the Yak Panther, not the Kedmer effort. Well, perhaps not the Yak Panther on the Panther, not the Kedmer effort, the Panther is both there. Yak Panther knocked by the Sab, was a good kill there for Learn to play. That said, it's Comet Connie's to join in. And there's still the issue of the Panzer IV. He might have to go for Cromwell here to just buy himself with more numbers in terms of tanks versus Iroha. Center of the Dean grabbed by the British troops. Far north, he got the Germans advancing possibly a northern victory point. So now he section right about the Panzer IV. Could lay down some more boob traps across the map here, Iroha. Back at the base, not much else going. Got the mechanized range map. Similarly, learn to play space the manpower bleeding to make a half room tech to utilize the fuel on safe for time of crumble if that is what they're planning. Of course, we don't really know what learn to play is planning. Ground center victory point, we got 140 versus 1534. Man's moving in there. Nice little flank attack here, but the panda form the flank. Protection duty there makes it much harder. Got a light gun bomb there, not enough though. Or perhaps it was. On the way though, you don't have retreats, deciding not to beat that one around anymore. Further heavier fun here, section pushing against the center. Not really getting like any major assault probably actually here by learn to play to be honest now. And Iroha is mostly just sort of playing very defensively. Oh, boot track goes off the almost taking out the entire section at that. Beautiful stuff there, unless of course you are the British player, in which case you may not quite appreciate that as much. Excellent route there by the opposite and wiped out. Great stuff there. The gun is not crude, not anymore. Tilly called in to finish off the job here. Deny the anti tank gun here to the British. Thumbs up there to Iroha. Good, better work. Good, better work. Coming arriving once more. So it hits from the Panther on the Kedden now for. Panther will be almost ready to three. Three no points left here for Lanta to play as they are continuing to struggle. It looks like they might actually be planning a second comet at this rate. Well, again, manpower bleeding is just. Really lean unable to go for the comet any of the Cromwell, anyways. Though that said, a comet's gonna be tough for anyways due to again their manpower bleeding. We got 285 now as uh, learn to play is bleeding out fast and fast with a zero hat. Commanders once more on the move but are being once more met with severe resistance by Iroha and the German army. I think learn to play needs like uh, 
adjust the attack tactics and strategy and come up some other way of you dealing with the you know how kind of thing kind of approach is uh, at this point i think clearly showing it is not working so the question is can I learn to play adapt here oh, don't get hit with some rockets almost wiped out there that's pretty good for learn to play this for you know how this is obviously a problem going on there with the Iroha. Again, it does seem like this is trying to somehow set up for King Tiger. Which seems... It... No, no, redundant, maybe in a strange way. Section on the other thing routed. Simply taking too much fire there from the Germans. Coming in. Coming They're close with the two groups. Got the hand coming in. Commanders out of these got white phosphorus shell there from the column, which is now gain visit. Very good, they're very good. And in four is 221. We have to have the tiger, though again, could have just gone for like more Panther fours or Panther to be honest, but there you go. Phoenix he got there for Uraha. Deutschland. Enemy threatening a capture point. Adding the pants command on that one. Very good, very good. Now, of course, I still think you should have moved the 223 to the fuel point at that point. They probably could have gotten the King Tiger out fast about at least a couple of minutes. That definitely feels again there. Just a bit and sloppy. It's awkward. Mackenzie and Chris Banks, he's got the Comrades and Four Pack up as well. What well, infantry there is here, I think, from uh, Learn to Fight. King Tiger moving forward here for Deutschland. Panther Command almost done. Panther bouncing shots here from British infantry and armor. King Tiger on head here. Good at the heat shell. Very good. Good at the infantry blasting into oblivion. And Learn to Play's men's morale shatters like brittle glass on the hard concrete floor of Deutschland. Sounds like getting snapped with a Panther 4. Hundred thirty seven, hundred twenty eight, or twenty eighteen, hundred twenty eighteen. North of Panther moving in. Man matches flying away there. Six killed veterans in one. Hadn't quite had the impact here that uh, learn to play out. Hopefully, the same time I'm taking them from the southern victory point. Then King Tiger no dealing with that. Hoping to grab the northern one as fast as possible. Damn, enemies trying to take a point from us. Actually, they could be in trouble with King Tiger there. But they obviously wanted to point neutral at least, buy themselves more for the British Empire more time. But there you go. Learn to play, realize the situation is over and gives up. So there you go, GG game over. A nice little fight here on uh, the newly updated by yours. Some good plays here and there. But I do feel like for Learn to play, at times I think they got a bit too confident, a bit too, you know, relaxed and weren't quite good at adapting their tactics, what the Euros were doing. And I think they saw some opportunities there to like really punish them. As for you know, how clean a push from our armor fast, and I think also could use the 2 to 3 a bit better, but they can still, you know, make use of it, so you know, thumbs up there at least. So there you go, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on, tell a friend, tell a family, do tell me. This is Imperial Dancing, cheers, thank you, watch, hope you all tomorrow again for our nice episode. Bye.